how Lazarus was a friend of Jesus. Lazarus was a, he was a friend of Jesus. Yet when, when Jesus was told that his friend Lazarus was about to die, he did not come. Like, how are we friends? And I'm scheduled to die this evening. And you don't show up for me. What kind of friend are you? I'm about to die, your friend, and you don't show up? You're raising all these dead people, and your friend is about to die, and you don't show up? Ah, no, 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 ma'am, no, sir. And the pain of people having to say, how do you call yourself a prophet? Yet you're going through this. Maybe you need to go through deliverance. Yet you call yourself an apostle. And you're, you're, you're suffering in this area. To suffer does not mean that you need deliverance. Let me set the record straight. To suffer, does not, to suffer as a prophet of God, as a servant of God, it does not mean deliverance. There are people that will tell you this cycle needs to be broken. It's a bloodline curse. Some of you don't need deliverance. You just need to be surrendered to the call and the sake of the gospel of God. You're called to the prophetic and you keep praying and thinking and permitting people to tell you. You just need to go through deliverance. The pain that you're going through is not a deliverance issue and we're going to get to it. Because the Bible said that God allowed a messenger of Lucifer to buffet Paul. That he prayed and fasted three times. And God did not deliver him from this issue. It was permitted and given to buffet him because of the magnitude of oil that he walked in. Some of y'all better get, you listen, some of you, you better get comfortable in the pain. You better get comfortable being in this position of pain and heartache and betray and people selling you out because due to the magnitude of anointing and glory that you're about to walk in, God needs to use something to hold Humble you and you ain't see nothing yet. This pain that some of you are experiencing now, you won't even see nothing yet. Wait until the anointing begins to increase on your life. Some of you can't manage this level of pain now, but you want to serve in the office of the prophetic. And you want to start churches. And you want to go and preach to the nations. Some of you call yourselves prophet to the nations. But you can't deal with the warfare of your family. How are y'all going to deal with the warfare from the nations? <sighs> Somebody say help. Somebody say help. Help me. Some of you can't even deal with. The warfare coming from your family and your own house. But you want to be a prophet to the nations. How are you going to deal with the warfare coming from the nations? When other leaders begin to fight against you. When other prophets that pray more than you begin to fight against you. When the members of government begin to fight against you, when witches and warlocks begin to fight against you, when evil your enemies join together begin to fight against you. But you want to be a prophet to the nations and you want to carry the glory and the anointing of God, you better get used to the pain because some of you, based on the magnitude of all that's coming upon your life, you're going to pay the price for where you're going. <laughs> 